um, Dr. Mario Lacouture, uh, who is a dermatologist at our center, has just written a very nice review of an article about the management of mucocutaneous yeah. uh, issues, not just with mTOR inhibitors, but another, and uh, I would encourage people to look at that. Great. The other thing that uh, just at this meeting will be presented mm -hmm. um, is a really nice uh, look at the correlative markers that might predict response to mTOR inhibition. and. Uh, then uh, that will translate, I think, into even more evaluation of markers that predict response to PI3 kinase inhibitors that clearly are effective in patients with hormone well, receptor positive disease. Well, there are interesting case reports, I guess. I don't know if it's in breast cancer on in, in uh, mutations in mTOR itself that seem to predict for really aggressive response. So I don't know if that's going to be and one of the markers. And there's also mutations or... in the estrogen receptor. It's really interesting really? to try and understand what to do. They seem to have very resistant disease. Yeah. Yeah, well, one thing related to markers is uh, that, you know, it's something that we are all very interested in looking at. Right. And it's very important to have large data sets to do this correlative work. Not only is the issue of identification of the marker, validation of the marker, uh, determining what the threshold for positivity is, but really having uh, the appropriate data sets to uh, determine whether there are true correlations or not. Yeah. Okay. You want to say no, before I, that's I just, where before we go my, on to the my, next? The last thing that I kind of have to mention uh, in the context of Bolero too is that I, I have had to learn how to manage hypertriglyceridemia, mm -hmm. and it's actually easier than learning how to treat hypertension from bevacizumab. I think so. Uh, it's <laughs> it's but it is something that I think we need to be aware of. I haven't seen downstream uh, events like pancreatitis, but uh, I think uh, people prescribing mTOR inhibitors need to be aware of that. Good. And hyperglycemia, you see much of that? Hyperglycemia. No, and well. I think this is all going to be all the more important because we're going to see data at this meeting on uh, trastuzumab, um, avarolimus, uh, and uh, venorelbine in Bolero 3. So it's all the more important to learn how to manage some of these effects. And that brings us now to.